is Anand Dutani. Um, I am a senior here at Emory, and I am a psych major and an air designer. I study the plant Anonis carnosus, also known as the pineapple, and it is part of the Bromeliaceae family. Um, here we have a picture of the five most popular cultivars. At the top, we have the Parola and the Queen. At the bottom, we have the Mansana. In the middle, we have the Red Spanish and we have the Cayenne. The Cayenne is actually the one that you would find in grocery stores today. So the pineapple is native to Central and South America, but it's commonly grown in the subtropics in countries such as India, China, the Philippines, South Africa, and Hawaii. The common extract found in the pineapple is bromelain, which comes from the stem. And it is a proteolytic enzyme, meaning that it breaks down protein. And it has several therapeutic properties, some of which are preventing cell growth, platelet ag aggregation. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It increases permeability of drugs, and it's used for burnt debridement, all of which we'll talk about later. And it also has other compounds, such as fruit bromelain, onane, and comasane. The plant itself is about 2.5 to 5 feet high, and it has purple or red flowers. The fruit is about 12 or more inches in height, and it's up it can weigh up to 7 kilograms. And there are a variety of skin colors, such as yellow, orange, red, pink, and green. And usually, for the most part, the smaller the fruit, the sweeter it is. And the pollinator is the hummingbird, and usually, if the flower is pollinated, then there's like seeds will be present in the fruit, but if it's not pollinated, then there won't be. For medicinal uses, the um, pineapple juice was used as a diuretic, and it was gargled for sore throat and to prevent seasickness. And unripe pineapples were used as an abortifacient and to remove intestinal worms. The pineapple root for was used for edema, and the rind was applied topically for fractures and hemorrhoids. And in Panama, the leaf juice was used to promote menstruation and cleanse the intestine. Pineapples are also used um, in curries and desserts, and the extract bromelain or the fruit itself can be used as a meat tenderizer since it's a proteolytic enzyme. And ever since the canning of pineapples began, it really increased the demand for pineapples. So in the past, inhabitants of the Caribbean used to put pineapples outside of their home to represent friendship and hospitality. And so the Europeans adopted this, and they carved pineapples on their doorways. And pineapples were also used as a decoration on pots, bowls, pans, etc. And it was used, uh, the juice was used as a cleanser for knives, as a scrubber for boat decks. And the flowers were used as an ornamental in homes. And there's a picture of an example. <coughs> and the Filipinos use the fiber from leaves to make fabric. And harvesting for the pineapple really depends on the season. For example, in the winter, it takes a month longer. And on top of that, the fruit is more acidic in the winter. And you can't store it for more than six weeks. However, if you do want to prolong its, shel its shelf life, you can dip it in a wax solution, which has fungicide in it. So the extract bromelain is a cysteine protease, and if it's in if it's mixed in an aqueous solution, it can degenerate by shelf digestion, and so a plasma protein called alpha two macroglobulin is added, and other cysteine proteases include include fruit bromelain, onane, and comasane, and onane and comasane also come from the stem. And proteolytic enzymes also have other properties, which include um, anti-edematous, anti-inflammatory, anti, 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 anti and they regulate immune cells. Um, so the bromelain is actually a glycoprotein, which means it has um, sugar moieties. And here we have a picture of bromelain and its sugar moieties. 
So bromelain can prevent tumor growth even after destruction of its proteolytic activity, which means another factor is responsible. It can reduce platelet adhesion. It can de decrease fibrin levels, help with diarrhea, and inhibit contractions in mouth intestine. Um, it has an anti-cancer anti effect in mice and anti-inflammatory effect on edemas in rats. Um, one of its important effects is, is topical application on rat burn. Um, for the mechanism of action, basically, there are two types of prostaglandins, which are mediators in your body. And there are pro-inflammatory, meaning basically they induce inflammation, and anti-inflammatory, meaning they reduce inflammation. And bromelain is a pro-inflammatory prostaglandin inhibitor. And the anti-inflammatory and anti-platelet activities are due to the proteolytic activity, but the anti-cancer and burn debridement properties are due to some unknown factors. For the clinical studies, bromelain is an analgesic and it reduces knee pain. It is used to treat inflammation. For example, patients with arthritis redu report reduced pain and swelling. It has anti-cancer properties. It also enhances absorption of antibiotics. Um, topical bromelain is used for debridement of burn. And it also helps with circulation by inhibiting platelet aggregation. For contraindications, there are a few side effects. However, if you have an increased dosage, you can have gastrointestinal problems, headaches, fatigue, dry mouths, skin rashes. Pregnant women should limit their intake because in the past, unripe pineapples were used as an antidepressant. Diabetic patients should also limit their intake because when they have pineapples, they have an increased glucose response. And bromelain shouldn't be taken with aspirin or warfarin since it can increase bleeding. Um, bromel there's little research in children and bromelain, so it's better not to administer bromelain in children. And there is little research on bromelain's effects on high doses as well as its use long term. And it's used in combination with other medications other than aspirin and warfarin. Bromelain can be available in the form of tablets, creams, and powders. Some examples of multi-enzyme combinations include Zebradase, Clozenzin, Wobenzin, and there are a lot more. And here is a picture of Clozenzin. <coughs> Usually, for the most part, they recommend 80 to 320 milligrams of bromelain two to three times per day. Um, if you want to use it for maybe it's cancer properties, then you want to take more. And you want to take it on an empty stomach so you reduce reactions. Um, so for in the end, bromelain is its primary agent. It has many different properties, such as anti-cancer, anti-platelet. It can promote drug absorption. It's used for burn debridement. And it's generally recognized as safe with few side effects. And Research is limited in children as well as its required dosage. So as, as long as more research is done in these areas, it can become a leading plant in dermatological disorders, inflammation, and cancer. So there is, um, sorry. <laughs> So basically, the question is, is bromelain is found in the fruit? So I think it's, so well first, it's, it can be found in both, but it's primarily found in the stem. Um, when I was researching it, it can be found, uh, it's known as fruit bromelain as well as stem bromelain. The fruit bromelain is actually called bromelain, which I thought was kind of weird, but that's what it's known as. And it can be a functional food as well as a medicinal food. If you use it for like, you know, cancer, then it would be like one thing. But then if you want to use it like for its everyday purpose, then 
you can do that as well.